Once, when I was in college, I saw a cockroach crawl out of the sink drain in my dorm, like out of the depths of the sewer and into my dorm room, and I have never been the same, ever. But it turns out roaches could do some good in the world because their genetic code, which was recently fully sequenced, provides surprising insight into their seemingly eternal survival. Now we have a better idea of just why cockroaches are so freaking hard to kill. They're evolving. Cockroaches can multiply seemingly infinitely, regenerate from traumatizing wounds, fit into any crevice, survive incredibly forceful physical extermination, evolve to evade chemical apocalypse. But despite their inherent gross factor, they may also hold an important key to help us understand how to improve our own biology. Researchers at the Chinese Academy of Sciences have sequenced the entire genome of the American cockroach for the first time ever, and their genome is surprisingly huge. The research team found genes indicating that when under stress, female cockroaches can lay unfair fertilized eggs that will still hatch due to parthenogenesis, which is quite literally virgin birth. I mean, this gives a whole new meaning to Jesus cockroaches. This is observed in other insects too, like certain kinds of wasps, bees, and ants, as well as some reptiles, and only requires one parent's genetic code. No sex required, just crazy science coolness. This reproductive method means that when mom detects an environment she suspects may not allow her to live much longer, she'll just plop down some ready-made eggs to make sure her genes survive. You may think you've killed one cockroach, but unbeknownst to you, there are more spawning elsewhere. Additionally, the research team uncovered the genes and genetic regulation pathways responsible for the cockroach's ability to regenerate its limbs. Offshoots of this research have led to the development of a drug in China that's based on an ethanol found in cockroaches and is being touted as potentially useful in human medicine for wound healing and tissue repair. They also identified genes responsible for in-body antimicrobial production, which keeps cockroaches safe while they're rooting around in the sewage and the trash. This could be part of the reason that cockroaches have a tendency to become resistant to our extermination methods. While the genome that was recently sequenced is that of the American cockroach, other research has indicated that its cousin the German cockroach has evolved to dislike the taste of the poison bait we've been putting out to kill it. Instead of tasting irresistibly sweet, it now tastes bitter to them, and they avoid it. So we're having a hard time finding something that will kill them. Now that we have a better understanding of the cockroach genome, we might be able to kill them more effectively, which is something that we would like to do because they're gross and they carry plague. No, seriously, they have hella diseases. But another point in the cockroaches' favor, they could help us improve our robotics. These tiny bugs can withstand over 900 times their body weight in crushing force and are also able to squeeze into so many places like dorm rooms by compressing themselves to almost a third of their full size. Both of these superpowers are due to their exoskeleton, which is hard but also jointed and flexible. Experts say that if we could make bots with these features, we could revolutionize fields like search and rescue, with the bots able to access areas of disaster zones that humans and other traditional search animals could never penetrate. There's still a long way to go in this research area, but it's going to be interesting to see what we can learn from animals like this, and what we can take from their genetic mechanisms to use for our own benefit, no matter how gross they might be. For more exciting facts about our arthropod friends, make sure you subscribe and check out this video on the bugs that might be in your food. It turns out people who seem allergic to chocolate or coffee may just be reacting to the pieces of cockroach that find their way in there during the manufacturing process. Yeah, I just ruined everything. Thanks for watching.